I'm curious, did, uh, did your sense of reality change continuously? Did it change in certain jumps or maybe just that one jump? And how did your sense of reality shift? My, my sense of reality changed uh, repeatedly at different levels. When everything was said and done, when I was processing all the experiences and trying to organize them in some form to present them and share them with other people, I differentiated five different levels, core levels of consciousness, personal mind, collective mind, archetypal mind, causal oneness, so the causal mind, and then diamond luminosity. Overlapping levels, and it's somewhat arbitrary where you draw the lines, but basically those divisions, so that the jump from personal consciousness into collective reality was a significant jump into it's like this is how reality is organized at a higher altitude right and then when that culminated and i was spun into reality into arch what i called archetypal reality this was a quantum step into a still deeper modality of consciousness and in this one of the striking features was i repeatedly had the sense over this next year and a half of work that I had entered a reality that was more real than time and space. And I was dealing with phenomena that were more real than my personal existence inside time and space or even time space itself. And this, of course, touches on an ancient idea that we trace back to Plato, that there are structures, he called them archetypes, there are structures that in create and inform time space reality all right uh, and he conceived these structures as eternal ideas in the mind of an eternal uh, unchanging ideas in the mind of an eternal deity an eternal divine principle that's not how i experienced them i experienced them as living entities as moving in time but on a completely different scale of time so an analogy that came up in my sessions if you think of the earth spinning around real quickly and then spinning around the sun pretty quickly but then you look at that in the context of the galaxy which is moving incredibly slowly but vast it's always moving and inside you have the sun moving it's, it's kind of like that archetypal reality, these archetypal beings, to the extent that I was able to experience them clearly at all, were vast living structures on a completely different order of causality and a different order of time. I could not, I could not wrap my mind around them. I could not see them cognitively coherently. Uh, I experienced this enormous living intelligences and the best my mind could do to give them some type of representation was to see them as galaxies. So we've all looked at the Hubble telescopes. We've all looked at these galaxies. We've seen the pictures. We, if we really sit with them and meditate them, we understand more deeply what we're looking at. And these things are billions of light years across containing billions and billions of stars and so on and so forth. That's what my mind did just to frame this experience in some way but i could not penetrate beyond that they were just too big and too foreign to me to give them form at a lower level of archetypal reality i entered what i would call sort of a jungian level of archetypal reality where i experienced repeatedly the human psyche and the human species as a single organism, a single integrated organism. And I experienced networks, physical and mental networks, connecting this organism, uh, kind of like the neurology of this organism. And I was shown repeatedly how the individual is hardwired and softwired into this matrix of consciousness of the species mind and the species mind how it informs our individual consciousness and how our individual consciousness reaches out and informs and structures future species consciousness so i i saw things like each one of us carry a, a holographic uh 
fractal piece of the diseases of our time, of the mental diseases, of the physical diseases. And as we heal ourselves of these mental and physical diseases, we actually contribute to the healing of the collective psyche. So the collective psyche, in a sense, uh, you would say it's more real than the individual psyche, but I would give it maybe a little different vocabulary. The individual is real, the collective is real, they have different kind of scales of their reality, and they are mutually implicated in each other. And both of these are transcended by the platonic archetypal levels of reality, which are radically beyond uh, our human uh, collective psyche. Yeah. Perfectly understood. On, yeah, oh, from yeah. that point on, from archetypal reality and beyond, everything was about going into deeper and deeper levels of what is real in the world. And we're not used to thinking of physical reality being on surface real and that there are structures that are more deeply real. But I think that quantum theory is comfortable with that. String theorists are comfortable with that. We should be able to be comfortable with that in psychology. Got it. Yeah. I was just going to say uh, perfectly understood can visualize it perfectly, understand completely. <laughs> um, but there, there's something really intuitive about it that that resonates. Um, and um, uh, and actually, people do have experiences of a sense of degree of reality sometimes. Um, so just sticking to the reality point just for, for a minute, yeah. um, there's, I don't know if you've ever heard of this, but there's this condition called depersonalization, derealization disorder.